Welcome to Weaverville. We are so excited to be an applicant for HGTV's hometown takeover. We're a historic town, we're in need of some economic boost, um, and we believe that Weaverville is the perfect candidate for this show. My name is Anna Leeper Carson. My name is Molly Simmons Contos. I'm Jill Cox. Hi there, Jim French. I've been in Trinity County 44 years. I'm Dana Ryan and I was born in Weaverville. I'm Jean Lamb. I'm owner and operator of Gold Rush Jewelers. I'm Roxanne Woodhouse and I live here in Weaverville, California. This is a fantastic getaway for people a half a day's drive away. People from Sacramento, from San Francisco Bay Area, from Redding, from Medford, Oregon to our north, from Eureka to our west could come here and enjoy the wonderful hiking, fishing, boating, rafting, kayaking, all of the amazing things that Trinity has to offer. My love of this town is our historic downtown and of course our beautiful Trinity Alps and the wonderful Weaver Basin trail system we have. I enjoy running in the Alps. I'm a distance runner and a shoe store owner and I enjoy going into those Trinity Alps. It's beautiful, uh, gorgeous. It's unbelievable uh, alpine lakes out there, uh, quiet, beautiful trails with very little traffic on it. Um, this is an 18, late 1840s gold town. I, I think the first cabin here in the area down on Mill Street was Alexander Hamilton's grandson, who had a little store and a cabin down there. And then when they found gold, uh, they came from far and, far and wide uh, to make this little Shangri-La their home. Weaverville is an amazing place. Um, what we have here is we have people who love the landscape, love the environment, and support each other. Uh, Weaverville is the type of place where you can walk down the street and you can say hi to anyone and everyone and they'll say hi back. I love the community, I love the old-fashioned service, just the slowness of it, and uh, the, the people of the old-fashioned community. What I love about Weaverville is the community, the people, the spirit. Uh, we do have a lot of mom and pop businesses in town and we are the heart of Trinity County. We are right located right on the State Highway 299. The old buildings downtown are some of the most glorious in the West. Main Street Weaverville USA is a place that just has, uh, in my mind, glorious possibilities and we have a functional steam operated um, uh, stamp mill for gold mining and come to find out it is the only steam operated stamp mill in the United States that functions. It's the only one. You can't see it anywhere else in operation. What I'm hoping that you can do for us is boost and bolster some of the energy that is growing here. We are aiming to bring in um, a an active and engaged 30s to 40s demographic. So we are trying to, to kind of rally the next generation um, to start being the civic leaders, to do events, to kind of carry the energetic baton um, into the next 100, 200 years. Downtown Weaverville is a golden place. And we're hopeful that the people uh, that live here fall in love with it like a lot of us and, and just want to do what they can um, as individuals to collectively make it one of the greatest places in the West to come visit. We have people now working day and night with their thinking caps on trying to figure out what are the best things they can do to make the downtown once again flourish. It's happening, it's growing, it's, it, we just need more. We need a boost. We need some outside capital. We need some outside resources to kind of launch us into the next century, the next decade, um, so that we can thrive here. I'd really like to see the commercial businesses and the structures be opened back up where uh, downtown is revitalized. When I moved to Trinity County in 1988, this was a vibrant grocery store. We would love some renovations done here. Oh, HGTV could come in and shine Weaver Bell up back to the little gym it used to be. Our storefronts could use a nice coat of paint. We have all of these beautiful, amazing brick buildings that have, have um, been able to overcome the ebbs and flows in our economy over time. They are still here. 
if HGTV could come in and shine up Weaverville again and bring it back to its glory days, um, I think it would just bring added interest for all the people driving by. Instead of driving by on 299, they would say, hey, let's stop. Look at this pretty little town. We want to be here.